Opening a car hood might look simple, but there's actually a detailed process behind it. First, a pull cable is guided from the opening in the A-pillar panel into the side beam, then pushed forward into the engine bay. It sounds easy, but this part takes some real precision. Once it's through, a rubber plug seals the hole to keep out rain and dust. Next, a torque-controlled electric gun tightens the latch cover plate onto the hood. The hood lock itself is mounted on the front section of the body frame. On the front sub-assembly line, the hood lock gets linked to another pull cable that runs through a pre-drilled hole in the frame connecting to the first cable inside. After clipping it in place, the lock bracket is added, followed by two screws and two nuts, all secured using an electronic wrench. This bracket holds and supports the hood lock, keeping it firm and aligned. Today, almost every bolt is fastened with an electronic wrench. It delivers consistent torque, better control, and prevents over-tightening. That's why it's used everywhere. It saves time and guarantees precision. Once the hood is opened again, the sensor harness is clipped to the frame in its marked spot. After the front section is assembled, the headlight bracket cover goes on. This part is important. The two pull cables from the body and the front section need to be fixed underneath that cover. Miss this step, and the hood might not open properly. And yes, some manufacturers have made that mistake before. Finally, the hood release harness gets connected. One end of the dual pull cable attaches to the hood lock, and the other connects to the release handle inside the cabin. The handle bracket goes in first, then the lower A-pillar trim panel, followed by a locking clip. Once the handle is installed, its function is tested to make sure everything works perfectly.